incredibly talented photographers who have now added NYC dog swag to their resumes. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Can one of you tell me how did New York City dog swag get started? What was the catalyst that led you to start this company? Um, well, I've been a photographer for 15 years. Uh, shot not nightlife, celebrities, models, and it got to a point where you know I felt like I was maybe posting too many dog photos on my you know personal page and my you know photography page. So I was like, let me just start something entirely different where I could just you know feel free to go out in my free time and take pictures of dogs. And so I started exploring you know going out, and I started noticing the difference that you know it made in this world versus like say the entertainment world where the feedback it was so genuine from people they were, you know oh thank you so much for the photo you know i appreciate it and then you know as i started moving into like you know adoption events and some of the rescues that were adopted you know that's when it really started you know hitting home where i was like these pictures can actually make make a difference um, at some point you know jamie a good friend of mine for you know a long time uh, actually introduced me to uh, amy from animal care centers and we shot an adoption event, which was like the Pitbull, I think it was, right? Pitbull, yeah. That was the first one we did together. And, you know, it was just so much fun, you know, just hearing all the people, oh, you know, that, that dog you photographed, you know, he's adopted now. And, you know, so I, you know, I knew I had something, but I, I just didn't know exactly, you know, where to go with it. I had, you know, I rescued my, my dog Lola from Columbia, and, you know, I just used her as my muse. I kept photographing her, and I knew I had something, and... A friend of ours uh, introduced me to Jamie. You know, we had a chance meeting, and you know, after we sat there, and you know, he heard, I guess, what some of my ideas and you know, the direction I wanted to go with it. You know, really caught his eye. Caught, you know, he has a you know a business background, and you know, his savvy really, you know, took over. And you know, I'd love for him to you know kind of elaborate on some of the stuff you know we did. You know, trying to migrate it from just you know a cool Instagram page to like you know a company, a business. You know. Mm -hmm. So how has social media made a difference in the popularity? The social media is the beginning of NYC Dog Swag. It's how we started. And um, even with Jason's earlier quote with Jamie being the person he brought the idea to, it was actually me, Martin, that, you know, brought it out from an idea to a business. Mm -hmm. Social media is definitely, you know, the veins of everything that you're seeing, and especially photography. Everybody wants to say, oh, it's this, it's that, but you know mm -hmm. what, there's so many Insta stars now that come based on social media, mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. And then if you have a true cause that you're really dedicated to, it puts it over the top. You know, so that's the way we like to go. At the same time, we realize that just like MySpace before it and CompuServe, whatever you might think of, mm -hmm. there's only a certain amount that a window will be there for, for any social media company. So our biggest thing was to take what we had on social media and start putting it on our own website. And so right now where the Instagram is still getting populated da daily, the audience is growing daily, you know, our main premise is now to create the website to be that hub where people want to go to. Mm -hmm. Instead of going to an Instagram where it's, you know, humans, dogs, celebrities, mm -hmm. and everything else that you might think of. So that's how we look at it. Wait a minute. So there are so many <laughs> different dog apparel companies out there. What made you want to leap into this arena, and, and how is NYC Dog Swag different? That's probably the coolest question, and uh, thank you for uh, asking. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was a partner for a major clothing company and social media company about a year ago. Uh, that's honestly how Jason and I kind of met. Right when I left as a partner, he became a photographer there, and then we met a couple months later by chance meeting. So I understand fashion. I understand style. And truth is, I have two of the best photographers, one to the left, one to the right. Jamie just had uh, one of his photos from the Met Ball posted on the front page of New York Post earlier this week. So, Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. That, uh, <laughs> you know, then Taylor Swift uh, reposting another one of his photos. So, you know, he's, uh, he's constantly in the limelight. We understand style. Mm -hmm. And truth is, I could wake up any morning, I could look at his Instagram page or Jason's Instagram page and be like, okay, that's trending right now. Let me go create a design around it. Mm -hmm. And then when the inspiration comes up, obviously, you know, I get to the boards and I start drawing things out and then get a photographic designer to put it onto a Photoshop or something else to mm -hmm. make it happen. So that's our biggest thing. Wow, you guys make it happen. <laughs> so images are a huge part of NYC Dog Swag. What's the secret to capturing such crisp and fun and, and off-the-cuff pictures? Um, 
Right. I guess, you know, I've somewhat evolved from the very beginning. In the beginning, I just, you know, I would go up and just take a picture of the dog. And, you know, it was kind of, you know, it was new to me because although I've been photographing 15 years, it was always, you know, people for the most part. Um, and I, I guess, you know, early on, I started, you know, I love dogs. I've always had dogs growing up. So I would just kind of like start playing with them and get down on the floor, you know, and <laughs> I felt like that was like an icebreaker between the dog and myself, you know, it was weird, but you know, it, it totally kind of, <laughs> you know, all. put them at ease a bit. <laughs> and, uh, and then I, one of my other things I, I really try to, you know, convey in all my photos is that, you know, connection. When like you look at, they're always, if you go through all my photos, the dogs are always, you know, it's like a stare. And, you know, sometimes they have a goofy look, sometimes they're serious, but I think that's very powerful when you can look at the dog and it kind of speaks to you, you know, whatever, you know, the, you may interpret it as, but it speaks to you and um, that's always big. And I, I use all kind of methods to get their attention, you know, make noises. I'm not, I'm not embarrassed if people walk by and I'm, you know, <laughs> screeching like I a hyena. I knew that was you. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the guy rolling around yeah. most of the time when you see dogs around in the park. So, I mean, that, that's, that's really my thing. I try to, you know, get comfortable with the dog, you know, not just, you know, can I take a photo of your dog? Cool, you know, here we go. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like you're not going to get the best out of your subject, you know, so I, to me, it's just, I try to get down and play with them, you know, I love it. Um, and Oftentimes it translates to, you know, a cool photo. There's some kind of like, you know, even though it's a couple of minutes, there's some bond formed. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's what I just try to do. I always try to make sure there's, you know, some emotion that you can attach to the photo and, you know, the dog's eyes, that's very important. And I think, just to add in uh, before Jamie, a lot of things that we see is the people whose animals we actually photograph, we create bonds with them, like Jason said. You know, like he thinks it's a five minute thing, but these are the people, the, you know, the way that we're here right now. A lot of the charities that we work with, we simply, we love the animals. We're not doing this, profit is secondary. You know, our main interest is to A, educate the general crowds, and B, bring awareness to rescues and shelters and great organizations that really don't get that eye on Instagram. And you know, another big thing of having two such savvy partners, as we do in our third partner, being Peter Lusk, or fourth partner, you know, we combine that business with the photography and they understand what people want to see. So they're able to now bring these images to life and put them across a very large venue. And then I add the verbiage on the editorials and things like that to really nail, nail it home. You know, so it's a very dynamic thing. I see. Dog parks are a feature of your blog. Do you have a favorite dog park in New York that you roll around and, yes. and bark like a... <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't bark. I, I keep it to just the rolling around. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> um, I mean, I, there's a few dog parks I really like, but um, I think the one where I, I feel the most, I guess, connection is Madison Square Park. Um, I lived in Murray Hill for a few years, and you know, after I rescued my dog, I just, I would take her there and she fell in love with, you know, the squirrels that were always there and, you know, the dog park. Um, and obviously Shake Shack kind of yes. helps, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just, in general, I love that park. I love the fact that they always have different art installations. They have sculptures. Um, it's, it's a very modern, you know, clean, friendly place. Um, the dog park is always, you know, populated. There's plenty of dogs. Um, but in general, I mean, I, I'm just happy. It doesn't matter what dog park. It doesn't matter what borough. You know, I'm just happy as long as, you know, I'm in that environment, you know, when there's dogs around. But if I had to pick one, that's... that's Madison Square guess. Park. <laughs> What's next for New York dog... New York... Dog swag. <laughs> What's next for New York dog swag? Well, uh, we're working on a lot of projects. I think our two biggest things was the additions that we brought in as partners. And I'm going to let Jamie speak for a moment afterwards. Jamie is associate with a lot of charities. He's uh, honestly, when we first met in October during our Halloween party, which was kind of the launch of NYC Dog Swag from an Instagram page to here you go, we're a company. It was just such a refreshing conversation. And then having Jamie speak about, well, this, and I'm involved with this charity, and I do this with this charity, and I run up and down with pit bulls, you know, it made us think, uh, what do we really want to do? How can we help the community next? So we're creating a, a new game. It's baseball inspired, it's called Paul Ball. Uh, dog owners plus the dogs themselves get to play on a baseball field. We don't wanna give all the details away. It will be starting later this summer. We plan on introducing a lot of the charities. Basically the team is comprised of dogs that come from rescues. So that's where, you know, having Jamie on board, not just for the stunning photos he takes, but for those contacts and being able to really expand our reach and, um, you know, on top of these rescues coming on, we're also bringing on products that we like. 
So here we'll let you present your product during this game where we know we have an audience coming, but we want a kickback coming for that, whatever charity that we're representing that particular week during the game. So that's one of the four or five big ones. Uh, the other ones come in, in forms of apps. We built our own game. It's, it will blow your mind. <laughs> Basically every addictive game that you can think of over the two main ones, we did our own variation on it. Jason has captured probably 10 to 20,000 photos of individual dogs. I think he's exaggerating. <laughs> we, we don't, we don't get to, we don't Tell get the to truth. publish. <laughs> Uh, trust me, I guarantee there's probably more, but uh, we don't get to post a lot of this stuff. There's simply, you know, you don't want to give the Instagram user, like, here you go, we're posting every 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we try to keep it to one or two a day. And Jason can explain more of that because he actually handles the Instagram accounts. But ultimately, we have a real fun game. Second part is uh, we noticed a lot of dog owners. There's a lot of, I work all day, I come home, I take care of my dogs. Even like our good friend Sergio, that's going to be showing us one of his uh, rescues, Yayush. You know, so they don't have a way to interact. So I think I came up with a very clever way for people to be in, interacting with each other. On top of the Paul ball, obviously not everybody's a sports player, not everybody wants to participate in baseball. So we came up with uh, another solution. And the third product, which is really the most dynamic thing that I personally thought of and everyone that's heard about it is absolutely amazed. Uh, we really want to integrate the person to person into our website so we're not just a social media company, we're a lifestyle brand. It starts in the parks where it really began and then it extends to when you go home. So this one um, is more so for all the people that hate leaving their dogs at home, but at the same time, their owners don't want or the bosses don't want to see their dog like, oh, what are you doing on your phone all day? Oh, I'm looking at my dog. So we came up with a, a so very cute. clever product <laughs> and you'll be seeing it, God willing, by the end of the summer and I can almost assure you or guarantee you that it's going to change the way that people look at leaving their dogs and the security that the dogs have while they're at home, so. Okay. Jamie? Um, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just letting these guys talk. <laughs> these guys are the founders, and they just brought me on. Um, you know, anytime anybody says anything about animal charity, I'm all ears, you know. Um, I've been a photographer for 20 years, one of the top guys at Getty Images, which is one of the biggest companies in the world. And basically, I got hired by celebrities and movie companies and stuff like that to do all their photos and get press for them and et cetera, et cetera. So once I started creating press around myself and getting a name in the industry, I wanted to do something that would give back. And since I've loved animals, I've had cats and dogs my whole life growing up, I felt that I could use my name and the press that I get to get, you know, these voiceless animals heard. And so what I started doing was volunteering at an animal shelter up in Harlem, uh, which used to be New York Animal Care and Control, which is now, uh, what do they call it? The animal Care Center. Animal Care okay. Center. So I would go there in the morning, and I'd play with the dogs, I'd take some photos, and I would post them either on Instagram or on Getty Images. And I would put the number of how you can adopt this dog, and it just started, like, rolling and I started getting like hundreds of animals adopted. So what I did at the end of the year with the help of the Empire Hotel, I did a big gallery exhibition and I sold the photos for um, the money went right back to the charity. So I didn't even do it, it was just a labor of love. But I felt, you know, for every celebrity I take a picture of, I'm fortunate to do these things, I wanted to give back. And that's where I crossed paths with Jason and Jason and I was like, oh, I love, to, I love working with animals. And he's like, oh, I'm thinking about doing this company, da da da. And I was like, all right, cool, you know, and everybody pitches me things all the time. You know, when you're in the, in the business, everybody's got, you know, oh, we can do this. And it's like, eh, okay. So these guys, I actually ended up shooting an event for them. They did a, an event during Fashion Week, so I kind of cleared my schedule and I came by. And that's when Martin, like, kind of pitched me the whole idea. And I was like, all right, these guys are for real. Because, you know, a lot of people talk, talk, talk. And these guys really care about animals. So I was like, all right, cool, I'm going to lend my name and my, my publicity and all that stuff to help. You know, and uh, we just kind of all fit together, you know, and it just it just came it came about and things just started like moving and shaking right off the bat. So that's pretty much where I came in and like, you know, I, anything I can do to help out the animals, that's my main concern. I already have a career. I'm not worried about <laughs> making money. I mean, I'm here to, you know, to help some, some dogs and cats get, you know, get some homes because that, that's what makes me feel good. That's that's what's closest to my heart. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give you a little taste of what NYC Dog Swag has to offer. Well, I'd like to bring up uh, two of my good friends, one of them being Julie Sanu, the president of Animal Lighthouse Rescue, and the other one being Sergio, who I'm sure you've seen in one of our articles with one of his two adorable chihuahuas, Yeush. 
So uh, just to give you guys a little example of what we're looking to bring to the stage, obviously we are a photo heavy company. So as a photo heavy company, you take photography. We take dog photos, point blank. With dog photos, everybody takes pictures of the top of the shirt because they want to catch the logo or the designer or whatever the designer might be doing from that particular dog brand. Mm -hmm. We realize that, you know what, to see a dog to really capture the essence, like Jason said, to catch the emotion, you need their face. Mm -hmm. So catching them from a top angle really isn't going to do it. By starting with our first design, we actually put the logos on the side. So on if you're side, taking a photo okay. of a dog straight up, you're getting our logo. So right. it, it builds that association. Uh, we're also doing a little bit more. We're doing a lot of accessories with Brooklyn Bowtide, which is another company that we've co-branded with and actually started a BKNY brand. And uh, some of the stuff that we will be doing will be these collarbone bow ties for the women dogs. And then um, ascots for the male dogs, which I really haven't seen before. I'm An sick of- ascot? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Aren't you dapper? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we want the dogs to feel as good as the owners, and ultimately, we want to see the owners outside with their dogs. What's a better extension of an owner? It's going to be that, his animal. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you want to have him well-dressed. So why not give him those little dapper things that make him just a little more swagged out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, obviously, we want to speak a bit about ALR and uh, what Julie does with Animal Lighthouse. Oreo is actually up for adoption right now. And uh, I'd love for her to give you a line or two about what they do and why we love them so much. Go ahead, Julie. <laughs> we rescue these dogs from Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, there's actually a 96 to 98 percent kill rate. And we find these dogs on the street, and they're just as sweet as this. Say she wants to give them a kiss. Um, <laughs> so because of companies like New York Dog Swag, um, we get to bring them up here. They, they get adopted by uh, amazing homes, um, and they make wonderful family dogs so. and that's basically who we are and what we do and this is one of our favorite rescues that we work with so i hope you guys follow us on instagram look at our website and uh with your help we'll just keep growing thanks guys for joining us to stay connected on what these guys have going on head over to nycdogswag.com see you next time on celebrity catwalk <laughs>